for going to uh, uh, what is the snapshot kind of stuff. So I will explain what is snapshot first. OK, so like snapshot and um, data deduplications we'll see. Be careful when you are spell guys snapshot snapchat both are different. So always spell snapshot or a checkpoint. Snapshots checkpoints. These are all the same thing only. Just for example, for our understanding guys look at here. For example, if you look at this my server currently, I have a, some applications. Look at this is. I have an operating system. First of all, I have a operating system Windows Server 2019 operating system is there and I install Active Directory DHCP DNS and some file uh, related uh, iSCSI storage. I installed iSCSI uh, latest storage and I have a data in my drives like a E drive F drive. OK, I have a drives. In the drives also have a data. In the C drive also I have a data. OK. Next. And settings like I created some users, some groups, policies like that, right? So. Uh, now. Guys, tell me in this server. In this Butler server, I have a data, right? So I have a data means operating system. Installed services settings. OK, some extra data I created, right? Where is all this data stores? The entire machines data stores in any machines data stores in. Hard disk. Yes, very good. Data stores in hard disk only. Whether it is a virtual machine or a physical machine where the data stores in a hard disk. Very good. Now. Imagine like this. Imagine. This is my hard disk and it contains some data like a OS services roles. So what are the things I created data and everything is in this machine in the disk? OK, it's a data is in my hard disk. OK, so this is up to now. So think like a timeline wise, not as a disk wise. It is a timeline wise. What I done? I create a snapshot. So. I create a snapshot. So remember I create a snapshot something I created that is a snapshot. And I put a date like this. This is a 20th. February. OK, and I put a name is SN1. No, no SS1 snapshot, right? Snapshot. So SS1. So till date, so 20th. So it's a 20th. No, no, we'll take 23. Otherwise 23. Today I created a snapshot. Today I created a snapshot. OK, so entire data is stored in our hard disk only. So I created a snapshot. So data in the disk is is there. I take a snapshot. Now what I done? Add some data now. OK, added some data. And uh, I installed some application. I installed some application. App to. OK, I, so where this data and application will there in the same hard disk only in the same hard disk only. I installed some roles. I made some changes. Now what happened? And now what happened? Because of something which is I done wrongly. System is not working. System is not working because of I made some changes because of uh, some data because of some applications because of some configuration system not working system not working. So what I will do. I can able to restore it to my previous stage. I can able to restore to my. Previous stage. How can I able to 
restore it previous stage before this one. So because of snapshot. OK, because of snapshot. Snapshot means the meaning is like a picture, a still picture. Snapshot means a still picture like a photograph. OK, like that. So whatever the data is up to the snapshot is taken, it is like that only no changes. What are the changes you made it after that one? It won't affect on this one. OK, so what are the changes you are trying to do? OK, it won't affect on this one. It won't affect on this one. If something is goes happened wrongly, no problem. We can go back to the previous stage. We can go back to the previous stage. So that is the. Understanding of snapshot. So in generally, what are the very big company, small company, even though they have a backups, they will take a snapshot of the data. So what are the snapshot means? Simply what are the before the snapshot? What are the condition of the data settings structure? Whatever it is, it is like that only. After snapshot, you take you modify. You modify or uh, change something. So what happens? That modifications or changes, deletions or corruptions won't affect on the previous one. So something is goes wrong, you can able to go back. Or something you want to do it again, you can go back also. Okay, so that is the snapshot. In our VMware, you can also take a snapshot, like a snapshot, take a snapshot. See, this is snapshot manager. So like this, it will uh, calendar is there. Even though I will show you the snapshot kind of stuff. This is Windows XP. Snapshot, snapshot manager. See uh, here in this machine in the in the XP machine, I installed Windows XP and I installed some application. I installed some application and taken a snapshot. So see. Admin Studio, Wise Package Studio is installed. Admin Studio and Wise Package Studio both are installed in this machine. OK, now if I do anything like I install some other applications, then I will go to this location and go back. It means I will get back to my previous condition only. You go to this, go to VM library. Hmm. You can get a VMDK file like this. See it is. This is a original hard disk file and this is the 0001 is a snapshot file. This is a original first hard disk file after taking a snapshot. So this is the file means if you open this. Machine directly directly just you power on the machine. Data load from here only if you do any changes data changes in this disk only data changes happens in this disk part only it not affect on our previous one not affect on a our previous one so that is a snapshot okay it is a very simple the disk is as it is like that only okay so after snapshot it will create a separate virtual hard disk i am talking in a virtualization manner for understanding guys okay so this is the original hard disk where originally the files configurations are there. After taking a snapshot, it will create a separate. It create a, a separate uh, uh, virtual hard disk. OK, so we are running on the. Second uh, virtual hard disk. If something goes wrong, you if you revert it, so you'll load from the first hard disk only. So that's just. That's why we are using. This this snapshot powerful. Not only that one, so you can see here it is. This is my Windows Server 2003. I create a snapshot. So very simple. Uh, I installed a domain controller here. Okay, this is a 2003 server. I created domain controller for my practical purpose. Last time we got a problem with uh, this backup related one only. So what happened? I then reverted it. So simply I reverted to my previous stage. So then uh, I get back my old configuration. Not only that, guys, 
even i do for a 2012 okay 2012 this this is also i done a one so see 2012 server do not think it is because of it's a world machine okay even though it is a world or new machine you can take a backup see in 2012 i installed a domain controller and I, I keep it a snapshot take a snapshot and I keep it aside okay i keep it aside so why because of in maybe in future i want to do some work i want to show something but that may damage my current configuration so for that one uh, I, I can able to i don't want to take a risk so one example i will tell which is i done because how snapshot is helped me in that condition so what i done i took a 2012 server for installing SCCM, SCCM, System Center Configuration Manager. So look at the timeline. So first one, I created a virtual machine. In this virtual machine, I installed Windows Server 2012. Okay, and uh, I configured domain controller also because up to this domain controller configuration, we are perfect. Okay, <laughs> I I done so many times. So installation done configuration is done so windows 12 is installed domain controller is installed then i taken a snapshot this is my snapshot one to install sccm we have to install some prerequisites we have to install some prerequisites so i installed some prerequisites including sql server microsoft sql server okay microsoft sql server I installed Microsoft SQL Server. Some applications requirement is there. ADK kind of tools are there. Okay, Wake tools, ADK tools. Okay, there are uh, uh, USMT tools. Okay, user state migration tools. So I installed in that one. And again, I've taken a snap snapshot. Again, I've taken a snapshot. Then I'm trying to install a SCCM. You know. Sometimes what happen, the SCCM won't install properly. It will be failed in while installing. It will be failed while installing. It may be failed because of prerequisites. It may be failed because of application or some other reasons. There are a lot of reasons it is failed. If in case, if I fail to install SCCM, what to do? I have to take a, another fresh machine. It means I have to remove everything. Okay. If in case SCCM application is failed, so what I have to do? I have to remove all these things. Remove all these things. Freshly installed Windows Server and create a domain controller and reinstall this prerequisite and then try to install the SCCM. You guys, understand the scenario? What happening? If SCCM failed to install, not working, or not installing properly, okay, it is failed in middle of the installation. What to do? Reformat entire system, reformat entire system. So we don't have any choice because we done a lot of configuration, pre-configurations for SCCM. We done a lot of things. Entire your configuration partition is changed. We can't revert it back. Okay, we can't revert it back. Okay, because it's a failed in middle. Okay, so that is a very big problem. Now, what I have to do? Now tell me. I take in two snapshots, right? Snapshot one, snapshot two is there. This is correctly installed. This is also correct, but this is got failed. Now what I have to do? Please tell me. I don't want to remove everything. I already created a snapshot. Sir came back to snapshot two. Very good. So what is very simple, right? Go back to snapshot two. What is the advantage? No need to install Windows Server. No need to create domain controller. No need to do this pre-installation kind of stuff because it will take a lot of time. SCCM take very less time. SCCM maximum take maximum 40 minutes or one hour installation. But so anything will take like a three, four hours, minimum four hours for this, only for this configuration. Okay. 
four to six hours minimum it will take. Okay, you need uh, at least uh, one day completely how to put invest for installation part. Yes, very good. So because of already a taken a snapshots, if in case it is failed, I can revert back to the previous condition. So I'll go to previous condition and start installing again. Then it may be successful. Okay, so a lot of conditions are there. Like uh, for example, I leave my laptop and went somewhere. So meanwhile, uh, the power cut is happened. Uh, uh, back uh, my my laptop went to the sleep mode. Maybe virtual machine went to the sleep mode. So you know power options related kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes uh, I open some background application. So there's any disturbance as a CM will get failed. OK, so that's why I taken like this. Even though I want to reconfigure SCCM, like I installed once. Again, I want to remove it. Again, I want to show you only installation of SCCM. That is also benefit. Even if it is a successful install, better to take another snapshot because we do some configurations in the SCCM. When you do configuration, there is maybe you get a problem and your SCCM is corrupted. Once SCCM is corrupted means again you have to install it from starting. So what to do? When you do this configuration, something problem is occur. We can revert back to the previous condition like a good condition. That is the benefit of your snapshot. What is a snapshot? It's like a take a snap or a, like a take a snap or a picture of your data. So if you take a snapshot after taking a snapshot, if something is happened like a data corruption setting changes, OK? So uh, or maybe data deletion occurs. We can revert back to the previous condition. We can revert back to the previous condition that is called a snapshot. So snapshots are very easily available in a Windows, uh, you know, virtualization concepts like a VMware say snapshot, Hyper V say checkpoint of a machine. Also, you can take a snapshot of hard disk and also we can take a snapshot of entire machine settings also. OK. I'm putting a snapshot meaning is like a take a. Or picture. Of data or a machine machine means your virtual machine okay normally virtual machine so that's the one facility we have a snapshot facility in a virtualization another advantage of virtualization okay data okay i'm giving a scenario example again uh, same example scenario wise like a uh, i configured configure a uh, system uh, like uh, installed OS OS installed OS and uh, applications OS applications Drivers, applications, required applications we installed. And um, made settings. Uh, made settings and um, made settings. OK, and data. Made settings and data is also there. So understand that made settings. OK, now. Now I. Snapshot. Uh, what happening? Now snap. 
start the machine or a disk okay next okay now uh, snapshot it is so so later in settings or install some application applications configurations configurations data changes or deletions is occur now system may not work properly working or I want to restore system earlier condition so what to do so what to do restore to earlier to the snapshot so that's uh, just for understanding uh, i type in like that guys uh, i think you got the point right so i have a system now i want to do something in the system uh, maybe it caused the problem right so this is my server for example this is my server. now i want to install uh, some application okay so for example i want to install a exchange server Okay, I want to install a exchange server in it, but after installation of exchange server, uh, it's not working properly. Or maybe I don't want it just for a demo purpose. I installed it. Now I don't want it. I want to go back to the my previous thing. I can't go. But what I have to do? Take a snapshot and install the application and show the people. Right, this is the application working. Work is completed. Or some issues occur. You can revert back to the previous condition. That is the use of snapshot. I, I I don't want to show you how to take a snapshot. It is if you want, I will show you no problem. But uh, the management and all it is again, you have to go to the machine again. I have to take this snapshot kind of stuff. So I have to take it like this. OK, but I already uh, showed how to take the snapshot kind of stuff. And that's OK. Snapshot is not taken for this one. Snapshot is taken for this one. OK, so. Look at this one, so power on because it is a very small machine. Windows XP is a very small machine. So guys, this covers both virtualization and uh, uh, snapshot kind of stuff. Snapshots are very easy to get back your previous configuration. If in case of data corruptions or deletions. Remember that point. So snapshots are easy to get back your system or a disk in case of deletion of or a Corruption.
of data things are application okay data so simply anything is a data right so in case of yeah it is asking username and password and i didn't remember my password okay so we'll try this one Uh, so many days over now so that's why it is showing like that so don't worry okay i will put a admin at the rate one two three so if you can able to hear that sound so after so many days this is a windows xp how it is beautifully it is look like okay so i have uh, some softwares that there see you can repackaging re repackaging softwares and all okay so if you install any application or you change some settings, then if you go to the snapshot like this, you'll get back to this. Thanks. So simply click on it. So and then you will get it. So I think uh, this folder is not here. It is there or not? I don't know. So we can take it or you can take a snapshot of current condition also. Just for you, I am going to copy some data from my PC. Uh, like this you can see yeah here, here it is some configuration files are there so just for a data uh, application i'm not doing just to show you how it is works okay on desktop I, I put a four files i put a four files on the desktop okay now i'm restoring just i'm restoring just go to sapar manager click on here Yes, remember I, I put a four files on my XP desktop. I'm restoring to the previous condition. OK, just click on go to. Yes. It is restoring your virtual machine stage to the before. What we are done, OK, so that's the thing. So in this condition, the four files are not there on desktop. Currently, I put a now only I put a four files before it is four files are not there in the desktop. So I'm reverting back to the previous condition. See. This is my See where is that four files I created? It is gone. It is gone. Okay. So that is your snapshot. So what are the data I put it newly? The data stores in the new separate disk like this. It contains uh, so many other kind of stuff also. Okay. This is a original disk. This is a snapshot disk. Okay. Yeah. This is the repack machine only, right? So. You guys understand the meaning of snapshot? Why I choose Windows XP? XP is a lighter version. If I use uh, Windows 10 like that, <laughs> it will take half of my uh, size only. Okay. So don't use on a Windows 10 kind of stuff. You can try if you want it, no problem. In generally, um, people who do practicals, we, we told them like a first install operating system and take a snapshot. Then only install a domain controller. OK, because if you do mistake in here, no problem. No need to install again. We'll get back to the things for a practice purpose. You can able to uh, take it. OK, so like that. This is about a snapshot guys and it is quarter to two. No one is replying anything. Understand not understand also. Even that uh, after understand. I showed one thing. Do you understand uh, how I done or not? Yes, sir, understand sir. OK, understand means good. Okay. Uh, one more part I have to tell that is a call it data deduplication. So uh, just a five minutes only I will explain that is enough for me. 
बेटा डी डुप्लिकेशन डेटा डी डुप्लिकेशन सो नॉर्मली वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा इन आवर सिस्टम राइट सो इन आवर सिस्टम वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ डुप्लिकेट डेटा इज देयर राइट इन दैट टू इन माय एक्सटर्नल हार्ड डिस्क एंड इन माय सिस्टम I'll keep the data uh, so many times, same data only. Okay, so normally we call that one as a duplicate files. Means same data is repeatedly there. That is called a duplicate files. But what is this data deduplication? Data deduplication is a one of the Microsoft Windows Server role. Okay, it is a role also. You can able to uh, put it. Okay. Next, guys, look at here. This is not a disk. Here it is a folders. For example, this is my folder one. Or our data one. Folder name is data one. This is a data two. So whatever it is, whatever the data it is. So we have a Uh, different type of files are a file contains file are a file contain kind of stuff is there so what is this data deduplication will do it take the data and create let me see d e f okay just for example this is my data in the one directory and this is another data in the directory like a B, D, W, Q. Okay, uh, space not enough. No, you can put anything. No problem. T like this. For example, think the data is like this. So what it will do? It will take the common data between these two things. Okay, it's a. It take the common data. And it create a a metadata file in the in in, in the directory. So it will create like this a metadata file like uh, like this. It is shows like um, a b d common for a both the things. Okay, uh, c f e. For data one, W, Q, T, for data two. Okay, so it, it will tell like this. This is belongs to. Like I want to access data one. Okay, I'm accessing data one. I want to access data one. So how what it will do? So look at guys. So data one, as for the metadata, this data is there. This data is there. So it will combine these two things. It will give it to you. Access only access. Now you want to access a data two. You want to access data two. Okay. Now, what is a in a data two? A B D like this. Okay. It will combine. And it will give it to you while you're accessing. So what is happening here, uh, guys? Understand this one. ABD is repeating in data one and data two. Both times it is repeating. So instead of putting a same data again and again, it create a metadata form. It create a metadata form in that one. This is the ABD is a common for data one and data two. If you are accessing data two, it will give ABD plus what are the unique one. Okay, so common one, you put like a LCM type, least uh, common multiple kind of stuff. So it put a common data into the separate and uh, a specific data into the separate file wise. So obviously when you are accessing Your data, so it will combine both the data and give it to you. So this is called a data deduplication. So how it is? It do it is removes duplicate data. We use it to 
red juice storage space by reducing duplicate files it does not mean repetition of files like a file 1 file 2 file 3 it meaning is data in the files okay so data in the files including that one also it will okay so it create a metadata per duplicate duplicate data we have to tell duplicate data metadata create a metadata and uh, reduce um, repeated or duplicate okay so it is uh, difficult to type i will show you directly on a uh, in, a, in, a, in a ppt only okay so data deduplication it's a very simple <coughs> you see here it is uh, picture i want it so you can see uh, identify and remove duplications within a data within data without compromising data integrity okay as a goal to store more data on a less space so when you enable data deduplication on a volume the background task runs with a low priority that segment data into small variability sized chunks identify duplicate chunks okay um, replace redundant copies with the reference compress the chunks so this is what actually data deduplication this is for understanding uh, i told like that one so but is uh, the scenario is also for explaining this one so what it will happens it will cut the data this is for understanding normally whenever you have a file it it cut the chop the data file into small small pieces small pieces and uh, this piece and this piece and uh, like this both are same it means it put one okay how many times this is repeated so it will take like this is repeated for uh, example five times and where it is connected so like that each piece of data is identified if it is uh, repeated so it will uh, save that uh, repeated and reduced and uh, compress the things okay identify the duplicate chunks replace redundant copies with uh, references and uh, compress the chunks chunk means piece piece of data so that is a data duplication you can see here it is it is a file one, file two. For our understanding, I put a data one, data two directories, but you can understand. See, file one, file two. Inside a file, A, B, C, M, N. Here it is, A, B, C, X, Y. It's a name and attributes of the data. It chop the data and create the data like this. Okay, so completely file one, file two having metadata, the original data stores here. You're accessing file one. A B C M N. If I accessing file to A B C X Y, so like that data will be accessible. Okay, so it's a different component scrubbing, optimization, garbage collections, so many other things. Okay, so main aim of data deduplication is almost 80% of disk utilization will be reduced. Guys, there is a last time few people got a question is how to save disk space normally we delete uh, unnecessary files first of all delete unnecessary files run disk clean now wizard Disk cleanup wizard 
So let's check this building, Wizards building. Okay, disk cleanup wizard. So what is the disk cleanup wizard? Uh, very simple. Go to uh, this uh, this PC. If you right click on it, properties, you can find disk cleanup. Guys, disk cleanup tools, error checking, optimization. These these things are to maintain the drive properly. Disk cleanup will clean up temporary files, uh, unnecessary old files, like kind of stuff. Temporary files, um, you know. The thing is, like uh, you know, this is a file. Okay, it is a file, but it's showing like a picture wise. It is a file. It is showing some picture wise. See, picture wise, some W, big W kind of stuff. So why it is showing that is called a thumbnails thumbnails because of thumbnail that also you'll get a more space occupation. So this cleanup wizard clean up the thumbnails and temporary data. Temporary. Thumbnails like lot of data uh, temporary internet files. OK, like this lot of data will be uh, deleted and go to optimize. Optimize means um, disk D frag. Fragmentation. Disk defragmentation fragments will be created guys when you write a data and read the data, writing a data, changing data, deleting data on the disk, on the disk, data fragments will be created. Fragment means pieces, right? Data fragments will be created. So you have to defragment, defragment. So go to disk optimization. Okay, optimization option for a defragmentation, defragmentation. Opti what is a defragmentation? Removes the fragments. What is a fragment? Gaps between the data arrangement. Gaps between the data arrangement. Like you take a hundred chairs. There is a small small gaps are created. One chair is broken. So what happened? It looks like there are a lot of space is available, but actually cannot able to put a more chairs. So what you do? You arrange it properly. So defragmentation. Okay. So error checking. It will do file system check. It is also uh, check. Uh, also will will uh, will help you to uh, manage your disk space. This is a generally generally how to save the disk space or uh, maintain 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 also question is there, but. Another thing is compress the disk. You do all these things regularly, but next one is disk compression to save the disk. Next is very important is disk D duplication. Okay, so D duplication data, D duplication services, data D duplications on your disk. So obviously. It will reduce almost 80% of unnecessary means the duplication data will be removed up to 80%. 80% of saves will be there. Okay. Compared to compressing the disk, deduplication is actually will give you proper. Okay. So it's a Windows service. It is also Windows Server role. So you have a storage, then you want to save the more space in the storage. Use a data deduplication. So these are the Two things you can able to it compress by default option you will get it, but deduplication by server role only server role only. So this is about your data deduplication. So if you want to look at this pictures and all, you can get it. Deduplication will happen. It chop the data into small small parts. Any duplicate chunk will create it so then it will reduce into one like a five similar things are there so it will reduce into one and it is create a metadata where it is located so like that it will save like so 
practical, you know, there is no practical things. Okay, guys, uh, in a, this is a net backup already I showed yesterday. So what is a net backup kind of stuff? Compulsory go through it. Rubric also I told what is a rubric? Features of rubric. You have to study that one. So uh, explanation is not. So that's it for uh, now. So yeah, it is two o'clock. Let's class at three o'clock today. Because evening six o'clock, uh, we had a meeting. Uh, office meeting is there. So compulsory class at three o'clock. So maximum uh, three, three ten, three fifteen um, will start. You guys understand uh, de duplication? I'm stopping recording.